Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Emma and we're playing Dragon Age 2. So we just finished Mark of the Assassin. So now... You've had luck on your travels? Nothing new to report, I'm afraid. So now we're going to do Legacy as requested. I, there we go. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted. So what is new here? Oh, is, is this it? No. <sighs> what? What's new then? <sighs> That's just annoying. Well. Guess we're not doing anything with that. <gasps> he enters. That's where he stays here now. Your support has meant the world to me. Oh my god, you're so precious. Precious and sweet and in need of protection. Okay, this is going to murder me. Ugh, was it like this last time we were here? I remember being frustrated about something. Well, I don't have time to fuck with that. I don't remember this. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Sorry, I want to read this one. Oh, she has an accent, doesn't she? But only elves have accents in my lore. It's funny how it switches back and forth depending on what Dragon Age iteration you play. All right. It's been over a year now since I met Talus, and she hasn't resurfaced so far. Or has she? I spotted a red-headed elf in the market just the other day, and there was something familiar in the way she moved, despite the servant's clothing and all the Orlesian braiding. I tried to get a closer look, but she disappeared into the crowd. If it was her, I've no clue what she's up to. Talus spoke of Canari spies throughout Thetis. Doing what, I wonder? Just providing information to the Canari? Or something more sinister? Unsurprisingly, mentioning the spies to those in power has earned only disbelief or indifference. Those who bothered to consider the possibility weren't certain what could be done. They appeared unwilling to admit the Canari might be inclined toward subterfuge. Too dangerous a foe, if so. You'd think that after what happened in Kirkwall, it wouldn't be quite a shock. Regardless, I doubt this is the last we've heard from the Canari, or from Talus. She'll show up again one day. That's just the way things work out. Cool. I love that. The pursuit of knowledge. My brother jumped in. Varric recommended this book, didn't he? What? I don't remember looking at all of these. I'm sorry. Aveline likes to drink. Okay, that's just showing us from the other room. Let's do it! Okay, so we're taking Baby Brother and Anders and Varric. That is our party. I'm really excited. I have a report you might find interesting. It tells of a chasm in the Vinmark Mountains and the secret that was said to be buried within. Yet when the Chantry went to investigate, they were turned away by the Grey Wardens. And why would I find that interesting? Because the champion was there. I can't help but notice you failed to mention this adventure. Oh, that? I didn't think you'd be interested. Just some business with Hawk's family. A few carded dwarves who went too far. <sighs> You're not going to believe me. I'll take my chances. All right. Don't say I didn't warn you. There it is. It doesn't look all that dwarven. These are carded dwarves, so they're more criminals and smugglers than anything else. They're not usually stupid, though. I don't know why they'd attack you. They gave it their best shot. I can't believe they snuck into the Warden Keep at Ansberg. 
But they failed, thankfully. And they haven't been able to kill me yet, either. You have a plan, then? I found their hideout, but my sources couldn't tell me anything else. It's all very strange. Why do you say that? It's just the Carter, isn't it? As far as my contacts and the Carter know, they shouldn't be here. There shouldn't even be a here. Now, this place is invisible. A big blind spot on the map. Bianca's never been this suspicious. And she's twitchy to start with. Does it matter? We just need them to stop trying to kill us. A fine point. So, what's the plan? There must be a reason they're attacking us. I intend to find out. Right. Only one way to do that. So we just walk in, slaughter every dwarf in sight? Not every dwarf. I just don't like the idea they can get at you. It worries me. The Wardens know I couldn't let you do this alone. Not after an attack on both of us. Let's go. Okay, let me level them up really quick. So... Let's... I suppose we should take that as a warning. They're from the Merchants Guild. The Carter doesn't kill guild members. That's really strange. So, clearly this is not Carter work then, yeah? Were we at Weishaupt? I think he said Ansgard or something too. Can I go back this way? Yeah. I don't need this loot, but I do want to make sure that we look everywhere. Because otherwise we might miss something. I'm more concerned about missing... I guess we're not alone. Where? Where was that? I'm more concerned about missing stuff that's important to the story than loot. I don't really care about loot. I care about narrative. It's the Carter. They've seen us. Do you think they were expecting us? Oh, that's gross. I can go this way. So is this supposed to be a, a Grey Warden hideout? That just got taken over by Carta? Yeah, look at them go. Is that what I've come to understand? The time has come. Listen. I mean, I'm trying to find the speaker. Are they, like, darkspawn sick? And that's why they're acting out of character? It seems to be a dwarf thing, yeah? Hello, my dude. Can you tell me what's going on? You! The brother and sister oh. both. You're here together! You come! Is he referring to you and me? Everyone! It's the children of Malcolm Hawk! They've come to us. Do his eyes look a little funny, or is that just me? What does my father have to do with this? It began with him and ends with you. Blood for blood, that's what we were told. Did father cross the Carter somehow? You've come to us now, and that's the only thing that matters. I came here to find out why the Carter has attacked me. For the blood, we must have it. I hope you don't mean my blood. We will take it. Corypheus will walk in the sun once more. Yeah, dark spawn shit. All right. Just seeing what we've got. I did this. I want to do this. This is my new my new move. <laughs> Just bump them like turtles. Can they even? Yeah, they. Can. Be careful, Varric. Oh, Varric. Now you fall. 
worry about. Of course we did. Oh, there they are. I figured it had to be something wonky for them to behave like that. And I know that this is supposed to be where Corytheus is. And if it's like a a Grey Warden bullshit, there's dark spawn shit all over it. We done? Alright. That was odd. Poor dwarves, I always get caught up in this Grey Warden, I mean Grey Warden, Darkspawn bullshit. Oh, were there more? Oh, sorry, I just didn't see him. Get him, Carver. Oh! You don't touch my boyfriend unless he lets you. Don't you know that touching people against their will is not consensual and therefore not cool? I figured that would happen. <laughs> I should have known better. I'm the worst at this. At least we can have health potions. Maybe there's some place to sell inside? That would be nice. I don't know if that's going to happen, though. Let's go off this way before we figure out what's behind that gate. The answer to that question is... Corypheus. Ah, Corypheus, I cannot wait to duke it out in Inquisition. Mm, I'm so excited to play that game, holy god. Alright. Activate trap. Ooh. Hello. Sorry at the cast, baby girl. Sorry, Bronto. There's a bunch of them. I choose you, Pumpernickel. You need to calm down. Get out. You okay, Barry? You guys. I'll help Varric over here. There we go. I'm watching Varric. I'm just trying not to waste health potions unless you need to. They're after us for our blood. But why? That's an excellent question. Deranged dwarves. We can check that off the list. The Carter doesn't normally act like this. They're businessmen. I'd like to know who this Corypheus is. There should dark be spawn. here somewhere. More Darkspawn. I wonder if Carter will have any. I know, I'm sorry. A specific dialogue in relation to the Darkspawn because he's a Grey Warden now? Oh, how do I get over there? Activate trap. Well, I'm glad nobody pulled that. So. I didn't want a stale biscuit anyways. Or did I get the stale biscuit and not the other part? I'll come back and loot if I can. Is that all that's down here? Yeah. Omjaforn, the waste yard. You who must serve beneath the empty sky, you who stand between this poison and the stone, the ancestors will remember when all others have forgotten your name. Remember your oath. It must endure even beyond death itself. Be vigilant. If the pestilent one awakens, you will know it by these signs. 
The air will fill with the scent of putrefaction. Putrefaction? I thought it was putrefaction. Okay. You will hear a sound like the cadence of drums. Malvernus the Defiler will try to weaken your will and compel you to bear the orb out of Amjaforn, but you must hold fast. This is the sacred duty that cannot be forsworn, lest the stone fall to poison and death. Amgaforn is dwarven for sacrifice. Oops. That's not a reassuring name. We never go any place nice, do we? That is not a soft G, that is a hard G. Alright. Oh, I already did that. I just can't loot anything because my bags are full. So it doesn't look like there's anything else up there, although we should probably check. Always better to be safe than sorry. Oh, see, look, there's stuff over here too. I'm glad I did. I'm trying really hard not to miss stuff, you guys. See, I needed that passage key. <sighs> All right, Amgaforn, the Lonely Vigil. One watcher, each generation will be chosen from the warrior cast. He will stand guard until his death. Only the constant vigilance of the stone's children can keep the foulness of Milvernus at bay. The burden of living in exile beneath the sun is terrible, but this sacrifice, this Amgaforn, will ensure the sanctity of the stone forever. Volos Atredum, by decree of Paragon Ilona. How many generations of warriors stood guard here? Why does that make me nervous? Because they're guarding something. Oh, can I get down this way? Yes. All set. We are. Although I wonder how many poor dwarves would have to put out of their misery. Ah, another one. Amgaforn the Fowl. We called it Malvernus. Is this Corpheus? The pestilent one. It devoured tigs, turning our fairest work into a noxious waste. Or maybe just the dark one taint? It consumed living warriors, turning their bodies to slime. And when its hunger was not abated, it consumed the bones of our ancestors. Reminds me of those like slime things from well. Foulness came from its touch. Poison and filth and desecration. It threatened even the stone itself. The shapers bound it. Chained in lyrium stained with the blood of a hundred warriors. But within the orb, it hungered. It waited. We carried it here to the wasteland of the surface, where it can threaten nothing of value. Damn. <laughs> the stone will live. The stone must live. We have sworn to defend it from the foul one at any price. Chained in lyrium. That doesn't sound good. I don't know why her speaking voice is so soft. I apologize. I'm trying to keep a good eye out. There it is. A fortress. Here. In the middle of nowhere. I mean, that's what Grey Wardens do, right? Even though it's... Not necessarily the Great Wardens. They're kind of serving the same purpose, though. Trying to protect the populace against the Darkspawn. Which is what the Great Wardens do. <clears throat> I just don't know if they also, uh, drink... Okay, bye. Drink blood Watch like the step. Wardens do. Can you get that for me? Easy as pie. Thank you. All right, looks like we get to do some more of this. He's not in range, there we go. Oh, there's two. Is the other one gonna come over here? So, can I? There we go, I want this. So he's... Trap there. Yeah, go get him, baby brother. Mm. 
Yeah. This is why I choose the spells that I choose, because it's all CC. My guys, come on. Oh, that door just opened? Oh! <laughs> I love that. Yes. Oh, I'm trying to get this boy. Can I get this boy? Thank you. Good job, my friends and family. I'm secretly really glad. Not secretly. I am openly glad that we have. Oh, I did take a stale biscuit that we have Carver back. So, key needed there. I don't want a gallstone, anyways. That's gross. We're stuck down here. Meredith could be burning down the circle. Yeah, I'm I am concerned about that, baby. Don't worry. Man, there's so much loot here that I can't have. Not that it's that big of a deal. I don't really care. You guys know. And I know that you guys get sassy about it. Or sassy salty with me. Because y'all like loot. Well then, go play DA2 and pick up your own loot. I'm just gonna collect stale biscuits, apparently. Uh oh! That was foreboding. Ominous is, I think, the word that I want. I miss That's much better. Okay, what are the spells that I have? Can I knock these boys back that way? There we go. <gasps> I'm gonna need that to stop. That assassin hurts. I'll deal with this. Okay, is it just these now? Now you fall. Better luck in the next one. Okay. Jeez. Keeping us on our toes, admittedly. I was wondering why there is a trap in here. Alright. I'm surprised you agreed to come back. You hate being underground. And you avoid the Carter the same way you do the Merchant Guild. There's no way I'd miss watching you make these motherless nug lickers cry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Very. Not going to happen. What? I didn't get a key? Did I miss something? Oh, I didn't go down. Lol. That. That looks foreboding. The other thing was ominous. There's a lot of crude stone figurines. This looks oddly like the area near... Why do you tell people about our escape from Logan? Why do you make it sound like I had food all over my face? You're larger than life, Hawk. I had to give you a few flaws just to make you approachable. Did you just call me fat? 
Yes, that's pretty much how I tell it. Hawk rolled into the fray like a gigantic pudding covered in gravy. It's more <laughs> dramatic that way. I'm not sure about the epicness of this tale. Ah, everyone's a critic. Very. No daggers, but a few points. Yeah, that doesn't look good. It's channeling it in there for something. And it, either it's containing something, or something's gonna use that power for things. Gate key! Thanks for that key. Scout's report. My team was sent to evaluate the fortified structures that overlook the northern caravan routes in the Vimmark Mountains. The Viscount's library suggests the buildings were part of an ancient Grey Warden fortress. Oh, okay, good, so we are still Grey Warden territory. Constructed to guard the pass, but abandoned after the free marchers gained independence from Tevinter. Our examination revealed construction that is remarkably sturdy for its age. The fortress's foundations reach deeper into the rock than expected. Two levels below the surface, we discovered a series of twisting underground passages chiseled out of the mountain itself. I commanded the men to set up camp there. Not an hour later, one of the newer men reported voices from the depths. He flew into a frenzy, demanding that we leave immediately. Those unused to tight spaces often display such hysteria. Thankfully, I was able to calm him before his raving affected the rest of the team. Uh, that's called darkspawn stuff. But he was gone this morning. Tracks lead deeper into the caverns. We shall follow him. From a scout's report. Apparently quite old. It's also ominous. And foreboding. <laughs> Alright. Oh! I hope you told Bodan where you were going. If we never come back, maybe someone will send a search party after their champion. I couldn't hear him. I figured y'all couldn't either. Hold on. Okay. I love my new spell, can you tell? Now we can get in the gate. Done. Where are you going? Oh, she's on my cord. That's why it's hard to have kittens and make recordings, because she likes to chew on my hair and the microphone cord. Can you not do that? I would appreciate it if you would not. She's too cute. The hawk. Oh, I can pick up that one now. We just gonna run over these traps or did Oh Carter's already <laughs> We're running past a bunch of stuff. Keep attacking. Alright, let's go double check the stuff we ran past. If there's anything. Okay. Never mind, there was nothing. Alright, let's into the belly of the beast. Bye, Eslies. This is easier though now. I can scoot in and actually sit up next to the mic. 
All right. Oh. Can we tiptoe? Is there a stove? What? I miss stuff. All right. I didn't even see where that was. If we're gonna be super real. Pamphlet. To capture the hawk. We have learned Carver Hawk is with the Grey Wardens. Search all of the free marches if you must, but find him. Kill him whoever gets in the way. But make sure the boy is unharmed. The blood of Malcolm Hawk must remain pure. The Great One demands this of you. In the name of Master Criffius, may he see sunlight again. They want our blood. Guess they didn't get the news about mine going bad. What's it to do with father? Carter should want gold, not blood. This is something different. I'm guessing Corypheus is some kind of demon? I guess we only get that answer from Corypheus. I'm excited! Some dark spawn shit. Oh. Are we okay? Hello, big boy. Oh, Hawk, did we really need to go all the way up here? Thank you. The band. <gasps> no! I wasn't paying attention! Really, just the two of you are doing that much damage? <laughs> I'm sorry, Varric. I'm sorry, friend. Would you please take one? Does he have an injury? Why won't he drink one? Whatever. Fine. Oh, I thought there was something over there, but it's just Pine for Nickel. Let's read some more crazy religious propaganda. Praise Corypheus. Like many of you, I was once a thieving wretch. I was a servant to coin my own base desires. And that is when I heard his call. Corypheus opened my eyes, just as he has opened yours, and showed me what was true. What is the card of beside Corypheus? Nothing but dust and ashes. Only Corypheus is eternal. We are his hands and his eyes on the surface. We are the ones he honored with his trust, to dig him from his prison in the deep roads. When Corypheus steps into the sunlight, we will be rewarded. Praise him. Praise Corypheus. From a scrap of parchment, evidently notes for a speech. <laughs> I'm still gonna try. Man, I'm missing a lot of loot. Oh, that's right. Hey, big boy. Why does the master want this hot baby anyway? It is not a place to question. Does it have some Oh no, I was hoping.
hoping that he would help us. Oh, did it not work? Okay, I'm gonna use my fancy schmancy new spell. Quit that. Gonna use this one next. There we go. I'm sorry, I thought he was gonna help us. The Bronco. I'm getting pretty good at this kind of sword. I don't think I can do this. I don't know if do you want me to do what? Oh. I don't think so. Does that mean I can't access any of them? Mind if I try my hand at that? Oh, really? What skill level do you have to have then? Jeez. Are there keys? the champion of Kirkwall. People pay attention to everything you do. And everyone. As it happens, I haven't said a word about you and Blondie. I'd look at that uh, uncle of yours for this particular rumor. I'm right here, you know. Shall I stick my fingers in my ears until you're done? <laughs> He's got a bit of a point. I got them stale biscuits! Is anyone else here drumming? That's the first thing. The Great One's key. The wardens did not guard the key with care. It was left in a repository with objects of little worth. Trinkets. Dusty Grey Warden trophies. Not even a guard posted. Fools. If only they knew what they had and had lost. It will not wake at my touch. It sleeps and its power remains within. The Great One says it requires Malcolm Hawk's blood to awaken it. Only then can its power set him free. I will find the heir to the blood, and the Great One will reward me. Yes, let it be soon. From the Journal of Radigan, leader of the Carta in Kirkwall. Keys and blood. Not a good sign. And not how I want to think of father. If this has to do with your father, we'd better get our hands on this key. Which is not the warm orb we just got, You've correct? Been away too long, Junior. Running short of fodder for your stories. Do you know another lovable lug with more sword than sense? Address. I've seen things far more threatening than your verse, my friend. Do your worst. So be it. We shall meet in battle when properly drunk. And safe from darkspawn. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. I feel like our dearest baby brother has matured a little. I feel like battle will do that to you. All right. That was a little wonk. The hawk's blood. The master will rise. He will be free. Garav? Beric? No, no one told me you would be part of this. We were just going after the hawk. Why is it the hawk? I'm just hawk. Armarian. Why has the carter been attacking me? I can't say. The master must be free. Really, Garav? I thought better of you than this. I mean, gutting the occasional competitor for fun and profit, that's the game. But what are you all even doing here? Worshipping demons? We drink the darkspawn blood. Mm -hmm. He calls us. Why would you do that? Won't you just die? It's the only way to hear the music. Oh, come on, you nug licker. Snap out of it. There's no gold in hallucinating. 
An acquaintance of yours, Varric. Hawk, this is Garav. He's a greedy, brilliant bastard son of a nug from the Carta. Garav, this is Hawk. The one whose blood you want to drink, or bathe in, or whatever. But if you're after eternal youth, I've got to tell you, she's no virgin. The Master is calling. He needs the blood. Garav, buddy. This isn't like you. Look, I've still got Bianca. Never misfired a day in her life. You don't want her to see her papa like this, do you? Varric, you want to spare this bastard? Not if he's after you, Hawk. Bianca, I think it's time to say goodbye. Reinforcements, you bastard! It's always unfortunate. I used to do business with the Carta, back in the day. Garav was a nutcase then too, but in a good way. He was trying to design a new type of repeating crossbow. Bianca was the only one that ever worked. I can't believe he ended up like that. <sighs> That's so sad. To be really rough for Varric. This just gets bloodier and bloodier the deeper in we go. I see you guys up there. Why aren't you attacking? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's. Is that where that's gonna go? I really like these new force spells. <laughs> you leave him alone. What is that? They don't have mages because they're dwarves. Oh, an alchemist. Why won't she attack him up there? So it's an excuse to basically have a mage dwarf. In, in mechanics, not in lore. Return to Kirkwall? Why would I return to Kirkwall? Why would I return to Kirkwall? Ah, they told me you were going to be trouble. And look, you brought the whole family. How generous. I swore to Corypheus we'd bring him Malcolm Hawk's blood. One way or the other. What does this have to do with my father? The Master wants you. I don't ask why. So, it's Corypheus who's after me? What Corypheus wants, Corypheus gets. From us, or from someone. I just came to tell you, or whoever this Corypheus is, your attacks need to stop. Corypheus! We have done as you command! Your sacrifice is here! You will see the surface once more! I wonder if I could return to Kirkwall to like buy potions and sell and shit.
I just was wary about it. And I didn't want to accidentally click it and then not be able to get back. So I was just like, we'll be okay. Aw, his name's Wonka. It's so cute. That's less cute. Oh, and that's even less cute. We'll deal with this. Get him. No! Oh, please. Come on, hurry, hurry. Oh, buddy, you better take that. I don't know if he can get it in time. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. So, can I res? So, sustained mode. Advise all allies who have fallen in battle. Okay. Come on, click it. Okay. Okay. We're back in business. Okay, so we need to turn this off. Okay. Well, oh, we've got puffers already. Okay. Heal Varric. Okay, Rast again. Or Radigan. Why do you say Rast again? Isn't Radigan the, like, villain from the Great Mouse Detective? Please take that potion, honey. Okay, I need to start dealing with these or something. That's why he's up here dying so much, because he's the only one dealing. Hopefully that's enough time. Oh, honey, I need you to be up here. Okay. I don't need potions, it's just timing. Needed to do that. What did Father know? This is going to take me to Corypheus. Uh, that was creepy. <sighs> I should have known. So, what I should probably do is go back to Devinter and sell stuff, right? Mm, but I'm gonna get me those stale biscuits. <laughs> Let me do that first and then we'll come back. Or can I not? Oh, why am I like this? There are so many people groaning as they watch this right now. It's just loot, guys. It's just loot. It'll be okay. We're in no shortage of gold or stale biscuits. It's all going to be okay. I'm not really min-maxing, so we're all good. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Uh, his eyes are clear. 
Uh-oh. Those sons of bitches. The whole blasted thing's sealed over. I'm sure there's another way out. Yeah, when we kill Corypheus. There's... Oops. A whole tower down here. I've never seen anything like it. It doesn't it go up into the sky though? Isn't that what we've seen? For the surface. All right, Carver, baby brother, it is your time to shine. One good thing about being trapped in an ancient underground prison not a lot of Templars. There's a bright side to everything. I could be quite comfortable here, actually. Clean the taint off the floor, maybe hang a few pictures. It might even be a step up from Dark Town. A new base of operations for Kirkwall's Mage Underground. It's got potential. Oh my god, it's so cute. Ah! Can I store a bunch of stuff here and then pick a bunch of other shit up? Stash all junk. Oh, <laughs> mess. I have so much junk. Can I just. So, is this going to stay here? Or is this, like, connected to our storage in Kirkwall? Because I'm going to be real sad if uh, this storage is here only. So, let me know. I'm just gonna feel really down, honestly. Oh, now I can go. Oh, I already picked up that crate. Oh, and I. Mm. All right. More deep roads. Why did we agree to do this again? Because I love trouble, and you think Hawk is cute. That wasn't a serious question, was it, Blondie? She is pretty cute. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Uh, do we want to go through this door? <laughs> oh, buddy. Aren't these the dwarf ones? Oh, no. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. God, none of my stuff works on any of them. Now, what is this business? Is that gonna free that thing? bound here for eternity. Hunger stilled. Rage smothered. Desire dampened. Pride crushed. In the name of the Maker, so let it be. Those sound like all the demon types. Uh, it looks like I'm supposed to set him free. Why would I want to set him free? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it here. And you guys can vote on whether or not we set him free or whether we just continue on our merry way. He is a demon after all. We don't typically consort with demons. So on that, 
I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you next time.